Hello everybody, it is me, Mr. Vince, and I hope you all have an amazing day today. And we got some very good news today, because Bifron is pretty much here for those playing Roblox on the 64-bit client. Today, I am going to talk about if Jailbreak is going to remove its anti-cheat or not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Now the thing is, Bifron is not officially here for everyone yet. Some people might still be playing on the 32-bit client for those playing Roblox on Windows. But with that being said, Bifron is pretty much here and it is doing its job. So that's good. If you're playing on a different OS like Mac or Android, then Bifron is probably not here for you guys yet, including myself. But with that being said, Roblox is probably going to push Bifron's anti-cheat and release it to the other operating systems, not just Windows. Honestly, I am a little bit excited that Bifron is finally releasing to many users on Roblox because it prevents players from just exploiting. So obviously, Roblox's anti-cheat may not be the most perfect, but it is definitely better than usual. Like, I can tell you guys, Jailbreak is suffering a lot from its anti-cheat right now. Jailbreak had its anti-cheat for pretty much six years now, since I believe mid-2017. That's when Jailbreak really started to push your anti-cheat. Today, Jailbreak is a bit okay now, since Bifron is pretty much here for some people. So some people are not going to see a lot of exploiters anymore, which could be a good thing. But at the same time, a lot of exploiters are going to get really mad over this new Bifron update because they worked really hard to kind of script some things and probably make some Mr. Krabs money out of it too. I'm not going to get into further detail about that in this video, but I will just talk about Jailbreak's anti-cheat. Jailbreak's anti-cheat today is pretty flawed and there are a lot of issues with it. Like, I can definitely name a few. For example, if you get off of like a vehicle or something, you're going to get teleported right away. This mainly happens with helicopters, but I think it is probably one of the most annoying issues in the game. I mean, that has been a problem for so long, and it still hasn't really been fixed. I mean, it's not much of an issue anymore than it was back in 2020, for instance, but I still think it is a little bit annoying that players just get teleported close to their vehicle upon exiting out of the vehicle. But still, I think Jailbreak's anti-cheat is doing a pretty solid job trying to combat exploiters, and without it, I think Jailbreak is going to be a bit worse. I mean, I'm glad that there is an anti-cheat in Jailbreak. But it does have its flaws here and there. Like, for instance, there are a few false fans in Jailbreak, including mine, because about two months ago, I was banned from Jailbreak for the use of a glitch. So, Jailbreak is not completely safe from some glitches, but for the most part, Jailbreak is pretty safe. And the developers don't really like to hear people talk about false fans, because they always assume that false fans are not present in Jailbreak. But I'll explain the helicopter glitch anyway. If you get off your helicopter in the sky, as you can see, yeah, I get teleported for nothing. The teleport stops when your helicopter stops moving, too, so I think it is a little bit annoying. I remember when players used to glitch under the map using the helicopter, but they probably fixed it now, so it's not much of an issue anymore, but I still think it's a little bit annoying that you just get teleported for no reason. So yeah, glitches are not entirely safe to use sometimes because they can get you banned, but it just depends on how you use the glitches nowadays. Since the Simo Bat CC are trying their hardest to fix some glitches in Jailbreak, it's just that they don't really fix up the bugs, they just rely on adding new content, which kind of makes Jailbreak feel more on the content side than the bug fixing side. Because back in the day, bug fixing was also a key factor in Jailbreak, but nowadays bug fixing is not really that much of a thing anymore for Jailbreak. Sometimes we do get an update that relies on bug fixing, but mainly the newer bugs that break the game like this one right here. But honestly, I feel like Jailbreak's anti-cheat should just be a bit improved, even if Bifron's here, because there might be a chance that some explorers might still be able to dominate Jailbreak's system and how it works. So, yeah. Now, what about bans? Bans are something that many Roblox experiences use today. And Jailbreak is no different. Now, originally, before I made this video, I originally think that bans should just be lifted. For everyone, because if Bifron is going to take care of the exploiters, then there's probably no point in banning people in Jailbreak just because they're exploiting, as it's barely possible to exploit in Jailbreak now or in the future. So obviously they might have to just revert every ban, but it's probably not going to be possible for everyone because there might be those who can still exploit 
normally inside of a jailbreak. But honestly, I am a little bit glad that Bifron's here. But it is kind of sad that jailbreak's anti-cheat is a little bit flawed today. But it is going to be improved for sure. I mean, the developers are still trying their hardest to improve the anti-cheat here and there. But I honestly think that Bifron is probably going to do its job. So, are bans going to be lifted? Well, it depends on the developers, but I'm guessing probably not. So, is Bifron going to be good? Well, it's like a mix. Probably, probably not. It might be good, it might be bad. But I believe Jailbreak's anti-cheat is probably going to stay for a little bit, but I honestly think it should be improved so it could fix so many problems like teleportion issues and stuff. So, will Jailbreak's anti-cheat stay? Well, probably. I mean, for the most part, it will probably stay for much longer than usual, but I believe Jailbreak's anti-cheat is going to be entirely overhauled when Bifron is doing its job seriously. But anyway, that is all I got for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe as well. And also, for those who are curious, I am planning to make a huge video within the next few weeks, so please feel free to check out the community posts. But as always, my name is Mr. Vince, I hope you all have an amazing day today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.